Today it's about food that doesn't require chewing that will give us bad or good result. This is Dr. Darwin Sunyega Lahot. Outstanding morning. Assalamu alaikum. So, what are those foods that requires chewing but it can give us good or bad result? Now, let's talk first about what are those foods that will give us bad result. Okay? So, if you want to know and if you have something in mind, please click subscribe and like and uh, please leave your comment about this kind of food that requires chewing but it will give us either bad or good results for our body. So first, if you are concerned about health, then take note about the food that requires or doesn't require chewing. Like for example, uh, soft drinks, this kind of food doesn't require or will not require uh, chewing but it will give us bad result if over intake or uh, eating or drinking this kind of food soft drinks refined food that you don't need to require or chew this kind of food you can uh, eat it swallow it directly but what will happen inside in our body will give us impact in our stomach, in our digestive system, and also in our liver and the blood that carries and transport that, that kind of food and your cells. Then later on, if this will accumulate faster, it will give us toxicity according to Harvard Education that Toxicity will damage um, vital organs such as nerves, heart, eyes, and uh, possible kidney. And this is very bad. And this will give us bad results and sometimes chronic diseases. And chronic diseases is very expensive because even in the U.S. Medicare budget, uh, it uh, will consume the 90% of the budget of the Medicare. So my friend, take note of that kind of food. Observe it. If it doesn't require chewing, then the uh, enzymes will not be secreted and to your stomach, from your mouth, the stomach and intestine, it can be absorbed easily. So when it can it absorb easily, then the accumulations will be fast and it will be accumulated um, in our system, like liver, like blood. That is why sugar will automatically increase in just less than um, an hour or two hours. So, are there foods that doesn't require chewing, but it will give us good result. Like for example, the leafy vegetables, you crush it, and there are also plants and spices like garlic, onions, and fruits that you squeeze it, okay? Then it will give us uh, extracted uh, chlorophyll or fruits, or juices, you no? Know? This doesn't require chewing, but it will give us good result. But the intensity or dosage, small amount, no, from the food that doesn't require chewing, but it will give us bad result, the small amount is good. And also, when you follow the small amount, no, uh, dosage, requirement of volume, that will also give you good result. Like for example, if you just drink one tablespoon of soft drinks or 30 ml of soft drinks, it's okay, right? Like uh, refined food that you will only eat small amount, it's okay. Because like for example, according to so many observations and studies that 12 ounces or it has um, 
how much or um, sugar in it uh, how many sugar in it it's more than one tablespoon or two or three so if you reduce the intake it will not give you bad result but you will enjoy the taste okay because it's refined but it's loaded with the calories or sugar same with the fruits okay if it's extracted then you only also consume it less or small amount especially with the spices if you consume it much then it will also give you bad so remember there is purpose why our creator put thick okay in our mouth and the secretion of enzymes started from your mouth the amylase then to your esophagus the stomach and to your what intestine so i hope you enjoy and you learn something today that there are food okay that doesn't require chewing but it will give us either bad or good so it depends on your purpose it depends on your goal and your intention and your control this is dr Darwin yegala all uh, glory belongs to god and allah or allah alhamdulillah see you soon